A £3 million academy to train engineers of the future is pledging to help reduce staff shortages by bringing in school leavers and retraining older workers who've left the industry. And as uh, Joan Rittle's been finding out, they're nurturing some determined young people. Yeah. 16-year-old Annabel Woods, an aerospace engineering apprentice, training at a technical academy in Telford. I think for some people it can be intimidating because they think of the people that are in engineering and they're like, oh, it's all boys, I don't know how I'm going to fit in. But I think if you have a passion, you should go for it, even if it's outside of a stereotype. Well, the best way to produce this is to Rob Plimmer teaches her at Incom Training. Aged 59, he was made redundant by an engineering company at the start of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. A brief spell in other jobs convinced him to return to the industry. I became a postman and a delivery driver and stuff for a little while. Uh, it wasn't for me. So you were doing this? When you get maybe done, you sort of, uh, I've never been able to done before. I, I, I worked since I left school. I just wanted a bit of a change and, and it's really nice to be able to give something back and do something worthwhile. This £3 million training centre is plugging staff shortages in manufacturing and engineering. As we're to have a strong economy, we've got to be making product, and that's where the refocus is now. Post pandemic, there's even more people in their 50s now that are taking early retirement, which has accentuated the skills gap. So we've got to plug that gap by retraining existing engineers into new technical roles, but also bringing a throughput of new talent. They're aiming to train 350 apprentices and upskill two and a half thousand existing workers here over the next year. James Morgan was guest of honour at the Academy's official launch. He's now a project engineer at Telford company Taurus and in the sixth year of his apprenticeship. Are you glad you've done it? Yeah, it's the best thing I've done, yeah. yeah. Why? Because it has set me up for a successful career within engineering. The qualifications and experience that I've gained um, has really set me up for the future. His boss is well aware of the difficulties finding skilled workers. It's terrible and it seems to be getting worse uh, currently um, at the moment. But uh, what we're finding is by using apprentices, uh, that's really helping us uh, bolster the workforce. New talent like Annabelle is coming through and her daily trek from home in the black country doesn't deter her. I leave at half six, I get three different trains to get here. Joanne Rittle, BBC Midlands Today, Telford.